In the midst of COVID, another lethal pandemic that has unfortunately plagued the streets of the Queen City before, violent crime involving guns surged again in 2020 after tailing off in the years from 2015 through 2019, shootings climbing from 147 in 2019 to 290 this year, and a corresponding number of victims also roughly doubling from 174 to 349. Actual shooting homicides going from 34 to 46 this year. There may have been additions since we got these figures last week and a sad recurring theme. It is, uh, you know, occurring in, you know, the, the neighborhoods of our community who are most in distress. Uh, you know, where, 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 po where people are in poverty. So in 2021, strategies to deal with it. As we told you last week, more of a focus cracking down on illegal guns coming in from other states with looser laws. And renewed weekly shooting review panels where all levels of law enforcement meet to review shootings to look for patterns like who the victims were, who they were with, and other connections. Again, try to eliminate any neighborhood gr uh, um, conflicts, uh, any problems that are may maybe occurring in a neighborhood amongst a group of kids. But also an idea that fell by the wayside a bit with COVID, custom notifications. Proactive policing as Buffalo officers use social media postings to identify individuals, often young people, posing with guns and making threats to others, and then actually going to their homes to seek out responsible adults. And say, hey, do you know what your kid is doing on social media? And you try to get to them before the violence happens. And, and so the Buffalo Police Department was really full bore doing this pre-COVID. Finally, some police sources still questioning bail reform and its impact on violent crimes, noting that people arrested for use of illegal guns can sometimes be released with just an appearance ticket for another court date. There may be another push for modifications in the coming year. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.